Welcome to Passport TV. Harry Dick here with you. Coming to you from Romania. Cluj, Napoca, Romania. It is Sunday, October 30th. We are in the center of the city, heading out of the city. We'll be traveling about an hour and 30 minutes outside of Cluj, Napoca. Using a little cheap camera phone here. And the bird poop on the window. Yeah, we got a nice little bird dropping there on the window for you folks to see. I just want to say happy Halloween to everybody. Hope you all have a safe Halloween. Here in Romania, usually on November 1st, Romanians go and celebrate the death of their dead relatives. Uh, but it is a weekend, October 30th, Sunday, and we are going to be traveling to a small village to visit the resting place of the doctor's great grandparents. So that's what we're doing today, folks. Well, this is something you see quite often. And Romania held the title a few years in a row for the most deaths caused by automobile accidents in Europe. Romanian drivers. We're about 30 minutes away from the cemetery. And the doctor's great-grandfather, whose resting place we will be visiting also, he passed away in 19... 49, and her great-grandmother passed away in 1989. So we will be visiting the resting place today. And a little bit of garbage burning. A little bit of garbage burning. And the cemetery is up this way, and that is the direction we are heading next. Great-grandma and great-grandpa's resting place is up there on the top of the hill. I'm glad I didn't wear my disco shoes. And we're getting there. It is a beautiful day. Nice and warm. I'm a little actually overdressed right now. But we're, there's no path uh, once we get up on the hill. Here lies the greatest person in the world. It's a good thing you're a doctor. Why? If I had a heart attack coming up here. It wasn't that bad, honestly. So it's going to be worse. Yeah. And so the beautiful doctor, she arrived last night. Uh, she lives in the U.S., works in the U.S., but she is visiting the, her birthplace, not this village. Uh, she was born in the city. Her parents are out of the country as well right now, and her grandparents live about... Uh, they're, they're late 80s. They can't get up here to do these things. So good timing that the doctor's here, and I'm happy the doctor's here. I miss the doctor, the good doctor. But it is a beautiful day, nice day to be out in the fresh air and sunshine. So great-grandma and grandpa are here where the flowers are. And the stone that's in front there, the white one, that's for uh, the doctor's grandma and grandpa. They live over in that direction. And that's that's where we're going to be heading to next. Check on them, see if they need anything. Yeah, but I'm sorry. 
camera here. Kitty cat. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Usually when the doctor comes to visit the grandma and the grandpa, the grandma calls some of the people in the village to come to the house here. And they're usually poor people who can't get into the city. So the doctor examines them inside the grandma and the grandpa's house. And lets them know what kind of medicines they need, what they need to do, if they need further treatment for problems they're having. So I'm out here so that they could have their privacy. She's looking looking at a couple people in there right now. I see the puppy. Who's that good puppy? Who's that good puppy? Oh, from us, from us. So the doctor's finishing up, uh, seeing a couple people, and Grandpa's out in the field, and Grandma's preparing lunch. So we're going to be celebrating this day with them. Christmas gift. I said I needed a new winter coat. The doctor said that the grandpa was making me a Christmas gift. Holy moly. I think you have to come to the slaughter. What is that? Uh, what are they doing? They're kids. Big boy. 